Hello again, everybody. This is another Community Connections with Ryan Sauer. Super excited to have my friend and colleague, Don Matthew, owner of Always Open Garage Door Services, with us today. Don, how are you doing? Hi, Ryan. I'm doing great. How are you holding up? I am doing well, Don. I'm doing well. I was. We were sharing before we went on air. Uh, uh, you, you got a beautiful uh, backdrop, and I'm like looking like Johnny Cash back here. But I gotta. I'm gonna have to forego and get the new computer to to make the jump, and it's a big jump, uh, Don. But you know, it's all good. It's all good. It's another That's day. Right. Well, tell us real quick. Um, for you know, I know your background, but you guys do amazing things. Um, tell them about you and your family and always open garage door services and i know you're open when you just talked about that but tell them what's going on right now and some of the stuff you guys do sure uh my husband and i uh run this company we opened it up here in georgia about five years ago uh, before that we lived in florida and did garage door service for 15 years down there so we've got 20 years behind us um, but we are just, just the two of us. We do hire occasionally when we need an extra hand, but we like it small. We like it local. That's um, the one way we're guaranteed to do work the way we like to have it done. Uh, so it works out well for us and we love what we do. Um, so basically, if you have anything wrong with your garage door or your opener, anywhere North, North Hall, or not North Hall, North Georgia, really, we service out of Hall County. Uh, with a warehouse in Brazelton and an office in Gainesville, but uh, generally a 40 to 50 mile radius from there, we're happy to do. So, you know, that's one of the things, and you just know with the magazines that I do, you participate in one of those things. But the thing is, a lot of people just flat out their garage, and, you know, and, and, you know, a number of years ago, I had mine going on. I didn't know who to call. I didn't know who to trust. Um, well, now I do. But, but you know, what is one of the common things when I mean, you guys come out and just analyze if there's a problem, an issue? Um, I mean, guess, you know, when you get into these odd things like a garage door, for example, people, you know, it's not like real estate or something where there's, you know, it's on every street corner. You've had 20 years experience doing this. Is there certain mm -hmm. things you see at certain times of the years or people don't know what question to ask? Is there anything you could just educate us on? Yeah. Um, there's all different types of, of questions and commercials, and the, the great thing about it is we love to educate people. So, for instance, I had a call from a gentleman yesterday. He uh, disengaged the, the opener. He pulled the red cord that we all have hanging in our garage, and he moved the door by hand, and then he couldn't get the opener to, to re-engage. Um, simple enough to do. We're happy to talk people through any kind of thing. So if you're a do-it-yourself and you don't want to spend any money, we're all over that. We agree, you know, a lot of it, it can be done yourself. So, um, you know, a lot of times, not so much with me, but with my husband, Mark, you can call and you can say it's making a sound. Yeah. And you'll know right off the bat what that sound is. Um, I guess that's all these years of marriage. He's figured out how to <laughs> how <laughs> to sounds. So, um, but yeah, if it's something and you don't want to mess with it, we have a large base of retirees. They're not able to go out there and troubleshoot and check. So we're happy to come out. We don't charge after hour calls as a general rule. Um, we have once or twice gone out after midnight. Wow. Then for that, we may just, you know, <laughs> got to get me out of my pajamas. Something's <laughs> going to happen. But, uh, you know, generally we're, we're just, we treat people exactly how we want to be treated in the home service industry. And that's a difficult thing to find, evidently. It, it is a difficult thing to find. And I've just been fortunate to get to meet a number of people that, you know, have the same business philosophy I do. And it's, you know, it's the, the, the biblical concept, treat people the way you want to be treated and, and do, do, do the right thing. And I know that's what you guys are about. And yes, I'm the guy I would call you and have, so I have absolutely no idea what to do. So for example, we had my daughter's car was a back, back, it was supposed to hail the other night, if you remember. Right. Uh, and some, and in some places it did, but my wife had told me to pull both cars around uh, under our deck. So I have an older Mercedes that we, we can't sell at this time. Of course, people aren't buying cars. My, my middle daughter's driving. It got stuck in our yard. And so her boyfriend had to come tow us out of the yard. And, I, you know, it was my, my daughter said, I thought it'd be you helping him, not the other way around. I said, yeah, I'm not, not yeah. mechanical. That's, but but uh, but no, I mean, seriously, when all this stuff happens and uh, you, well, let me ask you this. So y'all had what you said, 15 years in Florida. I remember us talking about that. And then right. uh, so what finally brought you to Georgia? So I worked for a space center. My 
career, my degree is actually in human resources. And the Space Center, we lost the contract after 32 years there. And uh, we had a chance to just kind of start fresh. Uh, like you, I have three daughters. They're all grown. They're all in Florida. And our parents are up here, one in Alabama, one North Carolina. So Georgia just was kind of the middle ground for us. So we just decided sense. to come up. And, and actually, the gentleman that we, uh, or Mark at that point, was working garage doors, really wanted us to open another branch up here. He knew our work ethic. He knew we were solid. We'd been with him a lot of years um, after praying about it, we just decided, you know what, we can do this ourselves. We wanted to make some changes. Uh, the, jo the garage door um, word went right out of my head. Uh, their, their people are paid on commission, garage door people. They work on commission. That is not how we want to run our company. So when we do use extra people, when we need an extra set of hand, they're straight up fees that we pay our employees. Right. We don't want them to have to come into your house and you know say, well, you need rollers, you need this, you need that. When you don't, you know. So that again, that's just one of the things that we've changed. It's one of the the biggest things that separates us from our competitors. And right. That and we stand behind all of our customers. Yeah, you know, I love that. And you know, as you know, uh, just from some of my businesses, people always ask me why I still stay involved handling sales and marketing. I love that. That's my passion. Right. And uh, so I don't have anybody else do it. But people's like, why are you doing this for us? I'm like, because I'm not, there's no, you know, everything's about relationships. And I think if anything going yeah. through COVID-19 right now, we're, uh, that's what this show spawned from is realizing, you know, we're all human beings created in God's image, and we need those relationships. And in business, you know, branding 101 is not about your logo or your symbol. It's about doing what you say you're going to do, right? Right. right. And, 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 you know, the upsell of, you know, I don't know about you, Dawn. I've been seeing people during this period sending out emails of, you know, kind of this, you know, quick courses and blah, blah, blah to, to make a buck. And I'm like, oh, that's a bunch. Of, that's like, you know, built on a built right. on sand, right? Sand, you know? yes. And, and so, you know, finding people, like you said, you know, I'm always wary of uh, dealing with people that are trying to sell me something that I'm going, do I really need this? Because when I really know a business owner, I'm like, would you do this if it was your garage? And they said, no, right. I would wait six months. Or they're like, Ryan, you right. definitely need to do that. You know, and that's yeah. the trust factor. I think that's so important in your business. Uh, and I'm sure you have plenty of repeat customers that call you and come back to you, right? Over the years. Yeah. Yeah. We have a lot of repeat customers for different things. They move, they, you know, invest in other houses. So yeah, easily 50% of what we do is word of mouth and referrals and um, repeats, which I love. That's my favorite. Uh, and you get to catch up with them. You know, they're, they're not just a sale to us. They're now friends, they're customers. I, you know, we're following up with, Oh, how's your dog? How's your kids? And, and, and it's that connection. That's what, what we like that's how we like to keep it well that is a breath of fresh air and and i've just been fortunate to see you know like you i had a guy the other day and uh on the show and he does uh deep cleanings and carpets and hardwoods and but he said you know i'm coming to your home and you know you got to treat your home with respect that's your ultimate it's your home and so how you like you said you might have to get out of your jammies and go see him late and you know that's all fair because if it's the middle of the night it's the middle of the night and there's a everything has a fee involved with it but for the most part right you're going to somebody's home and you're you're truly telling them what they need and not selling them something they don't need. I don't know about you, Don, but I know if you do it the right way like that and just say, hey, I wouldn't do X, Y, Z and spend that. You know, ultimately, those people do not forget those moments. And correct, I, correct. I think during this time, you know, that's why we want to have you on the show. People aren't forgetting the people that are speaking the truth to them and positive and encouraging, you know. What do you say? Let me just ask you, what do you say right now? You know, there's people going to be listening to the show. They're saying, you know, when is this going to end? When is, I'm so frustrated, you know, I'm isolated. I, you know, I'm glad you two are bubbly and happy, but how about some encouraging words? Uh, I always ask our guests to do this just to the people out there to say, we're going to get, you know, we're going to get to the other side, you know, it's going to be all together. But what do you, what might you say to just anybody listening to this show? Gosh, that's hard. Uh, I guess we, because we go into people's homes, we have seen so many people, and, and of course, you don't see it so much on the news, but um, every day we're still in people's garages, and obviously the family's home, the kids are home. Sometimes that's the reason we're in their garages. Um, 
but you know, they're bonding, they're doing stuff together. So, you know, if you haven't already take the opportunity to spend some time with your family, um, you know, it doesn't have to be great. doesn't have to be anything exciting. I mean, shoot, I'm going to do a puzzle with my mother-in-law in a little bit this afternoon. And it, it's just that small connection. So um, if nothing else, just enjoy the family that you've got with, with you at the moment. And, uh, you know, this is going to pass sooner than you think. It seems impossible now. I get that. There's times when I think I should be running to the store and I'm trying to just go once a week now to stay inside as much as possible. And, uh, you know, you just got to reverse it and, and put a different spin on it than what you would normally do and take that time. And I mean, if anybody's really bored, they can come help me clean the warehouse. There you go. <laughs> Something to do. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Well, before we forget, Dawn, let's tell them uh, your website and your phone number because, you know, we've got people listening from all over about the best ways to get in contact with you or see all stuff or ask a question or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. The website is um, the acronym for Always Open Garage Door Services. So simply AOGDS.com. Uh, I think if you put it in there and write it all out, it will still come up that way. The phone number is 770-965-8973. Uh, and again, that's 770-965-8973. We are exactly as we say, we answer that phone all the time. So uh, the, the only time you'll get a message is if I'm already on the phone with another customer. I can attest uh, that you, you do. You're very, you're very good about follow up and it's uh I'll tell you what, uh, Don, I don't know, but I've heard over the years when people, when I return their call or whatever, they're like, I can't believe you called me back. And I said, when did that become you? When did we, I didn't know you weren't supposed to call somebody back. Right. But, <laughs> uh, right. I get, but I I hold you guys in high regard and I hope our viewers and listeners will with Thank questions you. or repairs, uh, you know, connect, connect with you guys, uh, Don and Mark with always open uh, garage door services. And um, I appreciate uh our partnership and I appreciate you coming on the show today, Dawn. I really do. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Ryan, for having me. You so stay well. Safe. You too. Thank you so much. Uh folks, it's been another community connections with Ryan Sowers. We'll see you again next time.